Hey. Hello. That sounded wonderful. Thank you so much. Wonderful is probably an understatement. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Interview's over. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> so how's, easy. how's the toy going so far? Awesome. It's yeah. Really good. Yeah. Just... Is that your phone? The little click sound. Is I'm that a sure. little phone, or is someone trying to break in that door? Maybe it was a ghost playing the harp. Is there a famous harp yeah. player? Jenna oh. Newsom. Okay. That's my that's my knowledge of harp. It's Jenna Newsom. More than she's married to Andy Samberg. Oh, okay. Yeah. See? Pretty tight, pretty well, cool couple. Get him to play the harp, yeah. and then I would probably know that he played the harp. Yeah. Her, not so much. <laughs> anyway, so um, you're going to be on the road pretty much the whole summer, I would take it, correct? Yeah. I mean, yeah. the album just came out two weeks ago. It kind of yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. go hand in hand. Totally. Yeah, totally. We're doing a lot of festivals um, after this tour, and then hopefully doing some European tour in the fall. Okay. So let me ask you right off the bat. Like, I mean, I know that you had two EPs out, and like the success that you had from that was pretty ridiculous. And you opened up for some really awesome people. How's it feel to like actually have like the full length out right now? It feels great. I mean, it's funny because when it first came out, the day it happened, we're like, "Oh, how do you feel?" Like, I was like, "It's kind of like a twenty-first birthday, although I'm not twenty-one. I don't know what that's like, but it's like it lasts. So, it lasts so long, you know. So." It's kind of like a week of, of release. It was like a week long, a week's long birthday, you know. Yeah. Um. So, but yeah, you know, it feels awesome. I mean, it's it's just it's such a blessing to be able to play your music in front of people who care, you know. And yeah. It's such a special thing. I always it's talk. Sacred. I always talk to like artists, and I say it must be like. It's almost like you're carrying a baby and you're talking about the baby and, and then finally the baby arrives and you're like, oh shit, it's here, you know, yeah, it's like, yeah. it's kind of how an album is. Yeah. It's like you had an EP, so you kind of had like two baby arms come out. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> two baby arms. <laughs> two baby arms. It's like this, and then it, was, it fully yeah, came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, Such a terrible analogy. <laughs> I'm so <works>. sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's, um, definitely two baby arms. Like it's it's maybe a leg, I maybe don't know. a leg, maybe what are they toenails? Like, I don't know. Mm. Um, but yeah, no. Um, some a lot of a lot of the songs were on previous EPs, but some of them are different versions. You know, there's like there's different instrumentation on the songs, so it it still feels like a baby, even though some, you know, some of the songs previously came out. How about like performing the acoustic, like you just did for me, which you. I think you're incorporating in that, right? You yeah. Upset, yeah. But you didn't in the past. Like, I mean, how how does that feel to like kind of reinterpret your own songs and really strip it down to the bare bones? Yeah, it feels it feels so great. It's we just started incorporating that um, element into the live set recently. I decided to, and um, it's I mean it's 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 kind of even on stage it gets a little bit heavy for me at times because some of the songs. Um, stripped down are, are very emotional you know um and i hope that my fans confide in the songs but yes yeah, when uh when that moment happens like i don't know if the crowd feels it but i definitely feel very connected to the song and the lyrics and just that moment and it's, it's really special yeah i'm glad that that I, I decided to do that i don't know why i never did is that how the song starts for you anyway like i mean are you just literally it really depends. Your little piece is kind of. Yeah, you know, I, I honestly, I wish that I would, I wish that I would write more of it like that these days. Um, it's hard for me to just pick up my acoustic and be like, I'm gonna write a song. Like right. I usually like to write um, over to something I've been producing, like beat wise. I like to use my voice as a, like as a percussion instrument as opposed to lyrics and a melody. Um, so it's been it's been difficult to do it. To, because it's just it's it, I felt limited by the acoustic guitar lately, or while making this record. But I think in the future, I mean, of course, I'm I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna not allow a computer in front of me or a keyboard. Mm. Like no, <laughs> write it this way. <laughs> it's gonna right. be hard. So talk to me about. I mean, you're gonna be going on some festival bits, right? Um, mm. And you played festivals before, obviously. So yeah. I mean, is there is there a different vibe performing for festivals where you're you're almost fighting for attention with other bands, um, as opposed to I don't know, like obviously headlining is a little bit different, but like, is it similar to opening up for another band, or is it kind of like that on steroids almost? Yeah, it's like a 
it's this weird in between, you know. I feel like because uh, often you do have your own, you do have this uh, group of fans at the at, at the stage of whatever festival. But then again, there is like a bunch of other people that are there that are there for like the Phoenix or whoever the headliner is. So yeah, um, I mean, I feel like in any environment, I'm, I'm needing to get everyone's attention, you know. But I, I mean, I, I love festivals. Like, I'm such a geek. Like, I'm such a <laughs> geek about it. You know, like, I'll be at a festival, like, dang, just, like, backstage my fave bands, like, chilling. Like, I, like, I love it. It's really fun for me. I, I really like festivals. Um, throw out some songs or albums that, that you're playing a lot, like, when you're on the road, like, on a bus or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, there's a band called Nothing. Mm -hmm. Do you know them? I've heard of them. They're really good. Yeah. Definitely, uh, their albums, like, Amazing. Um, that work it's really good. I love Blood Orange. Who doesn't? Um, uh, artist called Party Next Door is on Drake's uh, new label. Mm -hmm. um, I like, I'm listening to a lot of old Mariah Carey okay. recently. Really good. Like Heartbreaker. Um, Something tells me Mariah Carey listens to Mariah Carey in the road. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> <laughs> she, she just goes through her all her yeah. whole discography. Like, damn, this is like, really damn, good. Damn, this is a good song. Damn, this is a good song. Damn, who, who did that? <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> Kiss my feet and give me some water. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I don't know. You know what, though? Like, I meet very few artists that listen to their music. After it's released, I would not even be because able to. But so many artists, me, uh, me included, you listen to your music right before it's coming out. Either you're like, damn, it's so fucking good, like can't wait till it's released. Because then when it's released, like, it's the reception, like it's done. You know, you right. can't. There's no more mystery. You're right. like, okay, but that, that right. people feel the way they do about it. You know, but before you could just like get in that space. Um, sorry, Mariah Carey. Uh, more. Oh, honestly, I'm on tour with the artist named Kitty. Funny, but I really like her new her new uh, her new music. It's really good. Nice. Did that just that's just a coincidence, or are you that I like her music, or that, you know that you're touring too? Uh, it's just, it's just a coincidence. We I've yeah. known her and about her for a long time. And you're I not just, gonna like take this like really to like the next level. Oh and no, start, like singing songs from Cats. And oh my gosh, no. <laughs> we were we were we were like, I was either like, okay, we could play it up or just completely ignore it. We just yeah. completely tried to ignore you it. You should ignore yeah. it. <laughs> the artwork for that would be terrible. <laughs> Kit, Kitty, and you know, yes, yeah, um, terrible. Well, cool. Well, thanks for coming. You yeah. Have an open invitation to join me in this school with harpsichord. You could just play harps all day. Harps. And play with the kids. Yeah. There is a ticking, right? Is that your phone? I hope it's your phone. No, I think. Am it's, I like I think literally it's the, hearing things? No, I think it's um like some sort of alarm. Uh, what do they have? Like the. Yeah, it's uh, probably an alarm. Yeah. The, it's like the fire it. alarm. It's like just, just yeah. there's not fire going down, so we take this thing. So it's just like. Yeah. Good. Totally. Probably should have scoped that out before I picked this room. That's fine. It's like. They don't people are gonna be watching this like. It's like, oh, there's like an old man like offering you like cookies, like. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Listen, seriously, awesome. Thank you.